happy to be here you know the work that I do when I when I go into writing songs and making records I do it from the heart and, and, and to be appreciated for so many years of the people to give it back to me is, is beautiful you know what I'm saying I'm yeah. speechless right now now you're an artist that really has transcended every race every age everyone knows you everyone loves you what is it about your music or about you personally that you think makes everyone embrace you what do you think it is about it's his style. <laughs> He's like no other. <laughs> this is true, right? Yeah. What do you think it is about the music that just reaches everyone? Um, the way I was raised, you know, I was raised around people. I had friends that were um, Asian, Latin American, white, black, and when I was raised around those kind of people, it just seems like my music reaches those kind of people. You know, I don't make music intentionally for one particular style of people. I make music for people in general and my music reaches people, so I think that's what it is. It's about how I was raised and just how I like to be around different people. It's not about my people because I feel like everybody is my people. Now, if there was one piece of advice you could give an inspiring artist or inspiring producer or songwriter, what would it be? What is what is the best advice you can give? To, to find out what you're doing, become great at it. You know what I'm saying? If it is producing, singing, writing, become great at what you do. Don't be good at it because everybody's good. But to become great is special, so take your time and find out what you're good at and make it great. And then you become who you are. Master, not a jack of all trades, you want to be a master. <laughs> yeah, you want to be the greatest at what you do. And then last question, you have so many hit records, but you also have so many classic records. What separates the two? What distinguishes the two? What makes a song timeless and what just makes a song a hit? I think a timeless record is a record that you can reflect back on that takes you into a place where you can remember certain things. Like if you hear this record, it takes you back in a time where you was young and it felt good to you and it did this to you. And a hit record is a record that's hidden for right now. That people can get with right now, but they may forget about it in a month or two. What's your favorite record of his? Um, got a lot to choose from. I know, right? <laughs> Beautiful. That's a good one. <laughs> you inspired it, right? <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much. Congratulations on the honor. Enjoy. Man, he just, you know, he, he does good music. You know, I, I mean, it's hard to, to explain the, the kind of music. Well, it's G-Funk. And, you know, what it is is that we, we've always uh, stayed who we are and not changed for nobody. We, we've done things out of the box. And he's, he's done a lot of things out of the box that nobody would try. I'm sorry about that. Okay things that nobody would try and uh, I mean that's you know people you know love that about him and they see that and they say you know this guy this is a solid cat he's original you know and, and, and you know that's what it is that that he has about him that that uh, you know that charisma that just you know it, you know and he's also a very funny guy <laughs> yeah. to hang around that's my best friend he had me laughing still all day, every day, every time we're around each other. It's crazy. But, uh, I mean, he's just, he just an incredible dude, you know. And uh, I'm happy to be, you know. What's up, Chuck? Ah, uh, my man. I didn't mean okay. that. Go ahead. That's all good. Just happy to be a, a part of it and know that, you know, that's my homeboy. We're looking forward to the show tonight. Thank okay. you very much. All right. It's a pleasure right. to meet you. Uh, just, you know, I came out from Uncle Snoop. Yeah. What is it about, you know, he's receiving the Icon Award tonight. What is it about his music that just really transcends the masses and has made him um, the icon that he is? Pretty much, man. Um, dog, he's been around for so long, man, and everything he's done has sort of been iconic. And, you know, we joke around a lot, me and Dre and a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of our uh, friends. And it's just like, how do you go from being a, a rapper to an icon? And uh, Snoop is an icon. He's not even a rapper. He's a household name. I mean, your grandma probably knows who Snoop Dogg is. But it's just, that's Brandon, man. And uh, he's bigger than life. So I'm honored to be here on his behalf and just celebrate with him. And I know you called him Uncle Snoop. So what's, what's the best sort of uncle advice he's given you in your career? Uh, he give me so much advice, you know, I'm all, I flip, I flip the handle really fast. He always <laughs> calling me like, yo, nephew, 
yo, you got to slow down. What you doing? I'm like, I know, huh? And he's like, look, man, I've been through it. And then come over. And so I drive way out to his house, way out to his house. And we have a long talk, a couple beers, and we, we figure it all out. And, you know, from an artist's perspective, he has a ton of hits also, but a ton of classic hits. Yeah. What makes a hit different than a classic? What what, what if his songs are timeless? Uh, I think all the Snoop songs are timeless, especially the ones from the earlier days when he was, you know, at his peak. I think now he kind of slowed down. He's just having fun and, you know, got the kids and they're older and he's just chilling. But, man, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg means the world to me. Perfect. And any new new music you're working on? Um, my album is out in stores now, the Red Album. It's number one in the world um, over Watch the Throne. So.